This is the first time in 15 years me and Mrs B have been into Epcot. Yeah, Disneyland, that was really, really good. Mrs B's favourite thing. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to day two in Orlando. We're just gonna head out to grab some breakfast and we'll show you what we get when we get there. This looks a bit familiar. Deja vu. So we're back at Burger King, hopefully it's open this time we came and the last video you watched on uh, day one we came in, we failed attempt even though it was uh, meant to be open at six but we were here and it wasn't open so try again, Burger King for breakfast. Success, we are open. Uh, this is the Burger King breakfast menu, just give it a pause if you want to check it out. So I'm going to talk a bit louder because there's some copyright music, but we've got our breakfast food. So uh, it comes with coffee, half and half. I've got a sandwich and a load of hash brown bites. Mrs. B and Tanya have both got enormous burritos. This is really yummy. I got bacon in mine. Bacon burrito. Oh, so they both got the same burrito. We have simply orange juice. So this is the sandwich. We'll just quickly open it up for you. Look at this. Look at that bad boy. That cost one second. I got this. Nineteen dollars and something cents. Yeah, I don't know. Less than twenty dollars, and we've got literally loads of food. So let's eat. So yeah, we just finished Burger King breakfast. You're in the frame. Mm. Coffee is actually quite nice. It came to nineteen forty-four. I thought it was 19 and something, I never yeah. remember since. I know the dollar just yeah. doesn't remember. Definitely worth coming and checking out the breakfast. breakfast. It's literally one of yeah. my favourite fast food breakfasts that we have here. And we also got today a reservation for Epcot and we're going to manage to get a... Fingers crossed, touch wood. We have got a reservation for Guardians but we've got it separate with Tans. So we're going to try and join them. Put them together. We're going to marry them. So yeah, we've got two <laughs> separate reservations. So Tanya's... I don't have to ride on my own like a bird. <laughs> so Tanya's tickets are separate to ours, but obviously we're in a boarding group of two. Tanya's got her own, but she managed to get hers earlier than ours. But we're going to go to the speed guest services and see if we can get them sorted. Those are my little keychain. Um, was that Walmart? It was Walmart. I think it was like four or five dollars. They're so cute. I've got a sticker as well, and now I've got a keychain. <laughs> so now we're going to Jump back to the villa because we need to ring the company to speak Confirm to them. Confirm that we're actually in the villa. Even though we've been here for two days. <laughs> so let's get out of here and get back to the villa and we'll catch up with you in a sec. Also, I'm going to include in the videos a snack score. So when we go to Disney and try loads of snacks, I'm going to put a little animation in the corner and give you a, like an idea of how good the snack was. Yesterday's snacks, or well, like last week's video snacks, I'll put that on as well. But it'll be in this video that explains to you, sorry. We're gonna head back to the villa now, ring that management company, and then we're gonna to head to Epcot for the morning. Tell a lie, I'm coming to Walmart instead. Told a lie. I said we're going back to the villa, but no, we're going to Walmart, I forgot about that. The lady stole our trolley, so I'm going to grab, grab a basket because we're not getting a lot. So we just come to Walmart to return something as well because Amy tried some shorts and it didn't fit. Um, really, easy. well, yeah, well, it was just not as nice fitting as she wanted. They're really easy to return. Just go up to the customer return, so just show them the video. Oh, so it wouldn't let you refund onto the Caxton, so. They give us a Walmart gift card. We we're like, doesn't bother us. We're just going to go spend it at Walmart again anyway. So it makes no difference. Just found a Christmas Opoly, like a Monopoly version of Christmas. We've also got a Florida Opoly, so a fun game celebrating the Sunshine State. So if you're missing Florida and you want to play Monopoly, Florida Opoly is there for you for 19.98. Now, if you forget your travel adapter, 3.97 in Walmart. They've got a Universal one, and it's got the EU, Britain, 
America, Canada, and it tells you what shape you need on the back. So really we're looking at if you forget it, because I forgot mine. 15.44, you can get yourself a kettle. A lot of groups ask for kettles and toasters. I showed the toaster here in the last video, but they've got a mini toaster oven as well. So if you wanted to even keep it cheaper, for 19.98 in there, you can actually cook nine inch pizzas, bacon rack and stuff. It's got toast, bake, broil settings. It's like a proper little mini oven. It'd be handy for the hotel room if you really want to keep the budget down. It's not bad. That's really cute just down the fizzy aisle again. So I definitely wanted to try this winter spiced cranberry Sprite. I'm gonna get an individual bottle and I'll let you know what it's like. Let's go find the others because I don't know where they've wandered off to. I'm lost. So yeah, I can't find any Christmas decorations though, it's weird. But if we do, I'll show you. We're gonna keep coming back to what we always do. Where are they? Nope, don't know where they are. Um, the villa now we've just been in walmart spent some more money but Girl math, we didn't spend money no we, we didn't spend that much we, we had a gift a card as well um it's already spent apparently don't let me uh girl math girl i'm math. not explaining in, in really the videos it's already been spent so i have no idea that one exist anyway it was on a gift just, we just hopped in the car and literally tanya's group has been called for the guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind already and we're not even in the parks we've got until was it 9 40 yeah, 9.40 to get, like, to it's eight, yeah, 8.52, 10 to 9, we've got like, what, less than an hour to get to the park, but we might not make it, I don't know. We're not going to make it. Nah. We can attempt it. We're going to speak to guest services and sort that, try and sort that out. So yeah, back to the villa, let's go. Maybe. Oh my God. Another beautiful day here in Florida. Um, when it comes to weather as well, what I'm going to do is show you on the screen when uh, when I go on the apps and stuff. So if, if I ever mention weather, you'll see what temperature it is in December. Because at the moment it's the first first of December today. So you're back in the villa now, and we're going to ring the management company to actually tell them we're here because we haven't done that yet. It's been like two days. Oopsie. So yeah, we'll catch up when we're on the way to Epcot. Yeah, we've been here. Back. Made it into Epcot parking, thirty dollars again. Ooh. But just missed Tanya's boarding thing. Whatever they call it, boarding Guardians. group, Guardians boarding group. But we're going to try and sort it out in the park in a second. Ours is not until like twelve o'clock, so we're going to head in and have a look around Epcot. Well, you wouldn't know because you've got your internet to check. Oh yeah. How do you? Work? Oh yeah. Well, when we get in the park, though, there's internet. There should be. I'll let you know if there is. Go head into security, get a bag checked. For some reason these two keep getting flagged up in the security areas of Disney. No, we're naughty. I have got some metal bottles. No, we're naughty. So have I. Worse. I've got metal bottles, I've got wires, I've got plastic oh. things and all sorts. No idea why. December 1st, multi-day ticket, I'm just on the screen for you there. We got through security, got through so these two, these two took their time, five minutes through security about. But this is the first time in 15 years me and Mrs. B have been into Epcot and it looks incredible. I forgot how good it was. I never actually did the, is this? 
the one with all the worlds. Yeah, all the lands. I never, we didn't, I didn't even know they existed. But let's head in uh, in Epcot and show you around. Coming into guest relations as well, if you head towards there, there is actually a water bottle fill up station in Epcot. On the way into, like I say, guest relations, as you turn under the ball to the left. Just, so, we've just popped to uh, guest relations in Epcot and we've actually linked all three tickets. So, if you've got a group of people who have different tickets in your party, we had me and Amy had our tickets together and Tanya had separate tickets. We've just gone into guest relations at Epcot. She touched Tanya's magic band touched our ticket and literally linked all three tickets together so now we can get boarding groups together for Tron, Tron Guardians, and, Guardians and now we're going to head over to Guardians um, area because our boarding pass is about 45 minutes away so we'll be in the area for the ride cannot wait for this one I'm gonna head over to test track see how uh, long the wait time is can't see the numbers from here but it's yeah, I think it's going to be too long that one, 50 minutes. First ride of the day, mission space, 20 minutes, that'll do us. What Earth are you doing Mars? Oh, Earth or Mars. What's the difference? I don't know. I can't remember. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, yeah. or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes I'll give you your specific assignments. But first our flight director has some safety instructions. Okay, listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You'll also you, be Tan. triggering the landing seat. Oh, we, Commander, we got a, you got to land it. You will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control, if needed. Engineer, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. That's, that's this invisible person screen. here. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew. You know there's going to be an emergency landing. Okay, that's everything. Good luck, Earth team. You are on the clock. Just as you come out of uh, Mission Space, there's a massive kids play area. That's awesome! We just got off Tan's first ride in Epcot. What did you think to that one then, Tanya? That's alright, not too bad. Nice and gentle, ease into the ride. <laughs> we've got about 15 minutes before our Guardians class comes up. So we're going to go to the loo, get some drinks and then head over to Guardians when it get cold. That was awesome though, I haven't done that for a while. Brings back memories though. So our boarding group's been called at 10.46 for Guardians. We're gonna time it, see how long it takes to get on and off the ride, and we'll let you know when we get off. It's first time experiencing the ride, so let's go on this coast train. We'll let you know what we think afterwards, because we've got a sickie on here. Tanya's a bit of a motion sickness person, so we'll get off and let you know our, our thoughts. And she hasn't got any drama I mean, which she opinion. bought yesterday and she forgot to actually pick it up and bring it with us on the one day she's got to actually eat it. That is an epic view. Guardians is my favourite, one of my favourite Marvel movies, so let's see how this goes. And your It serves a key role in the Nova Port fleet. What's the time, Tan? 10 to 9. Is 11.19. How long was that then? So that was half an hour. Yeah. So half an hour? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. 35 minutes. So yeah, we've got off Galaxy, got, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Absolutely phenomenal. Spinning, I can see why people get sick on it. <laughs> Literally, we've got boarding passes, called at quarter to 10. 
straight on about 35 minutes walking through the through the experience. Quarter to 11. Oh, quarter to 11, sorry. Um, yeah. What do you think to that one in time? Loved it. It was good. Mrs. B? That was immense. Absolutely immense, I've got to say. You can tell, though. For a Disney ride, that was really, really good. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely awesome theming all the way through the ride. If you my do, eyes streamed and went all the way down my neck. If you do, though, get sick on rides, that is definitely not a ride to go on. Yeah, but Tang, you have I get motion sickness. Yeah, but, that's not, yeah, but even the screen wasn't that bad. Because people, motion sickness is caused by movement in the screen. So you say it wasn't yeah. that bad. But like the spinning, that if you get like, done by spinning. That reminds me of um, Cobra's Curse. Yeah. Bush Gardens. Gardens. Yeah, because Cobra's Curse is like a moving spinning one, but there's no screens. So that's, that was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Loved it. So, on to the next World, World showcase. showcase. The part of the park I didn't know existed. Mrs. B is off to grab the Christmas tree picture. She's legging it to the tree. Scavenger hunt for 9.99 plus tax for the Christmas festival. All new to me this. Never been in any of these shops. Oh wow. Christmas decorations are epic. Canada. Head out back into World Showcase and have a look at the next country. Where's the next one? I don't know. Neither do I. You are the map though, normally. Yeah, we've not really done that much. Epcot in. Of course, of course, we should expect to know where everything is. You're the map. <laughs> Universal, because that's easy though. Sea World for Florida, yes. Not Disney, not Epcot, anyway. <laughs> That's really soft on the peppermint. So we just picked up a... To the point of, I think they forgot the peppermint. Peppermint mocha ice latte, but we seem to have forgot the peppermint, so see what it tastes like. It's chocolatey, it's not very peppermint. There's no peppermint in it. There's no peppermint in it. It's mocha latte, it's very nice. It's a mocha latte, but it's nice. It's <laughs> They're like $7 or something like that. Big grudge paying the prices. Heading into London now. Back home, baby. A lot cleaner version of the UK than I'm remembering. Fish and chips over there. Twining's tea. It is cool. It's just not an accurate representation. <laughs> Let's have a look at one of the shops for some British merchandise. <laughs> Rose and Crown, London t-shirts, some beer glasses, <laughs> Liverpool t-shirt there, <laughs> Edinburgh. That's all. That London bus one's cool. That's 34.99 plus tax. <laughs> Comparing the British British snacks. <laughs> They're probably extremely overpriced British food. We have a Terry's chocolate orange here for nine ninety nine. <laughs> that is a very overpriced Terry's chocolate orange.
I love this little square area. I think this is where characters come out sometimes. Is this Mary Poppins area, I think? Just come in the shop here. I don't know where it is, but they've got United Kingdom like glass with a straw. This is Queen of the Kingdom on it's uh, 30, uh, $25 plus tax. Not bad. Teapots and stuff, as you'd expect. Tanya is picking up some ears, which are the United Kingdom ears. Crown, and they are one size, $34.99 plus tax. Oh God, I'm trashing the place. We've just walked out the uh, shop and Alice in Wonderland is doing a meet and greet. Of tea, anybody? So, there's something we've never done before a Skyliner. It opened literally just after we left. Pluto's down there meeting. Look, and Daisy. Look, the thing is, I'm not bothered about meeting characters, I just like to see them. Heading into France, gonna go see how long the queue for Ratatouille is. It's completely wrong because it's not an absolute, and I won't say it's where because yeah. we'll have to beep it out. It's not dirty. Yeah, so we're gonna head into rubbish. round to they're see. Rubbish. Oh, they've got some like little dioramas over there. I don't know where Remy's Ratatouille ride is over here. Oh, it's over there. So the right as you come into the land. How long does it stay there? I don't know, let's go find out. Probably ages. Walking past and uh, Bell's meeting in the gazebo over there. We're gonna head over to the Ratatouille, see how long the wait time. 25 minutes, babe! Go into the streets of Morocco down there. What's down there? So we just got oh, we're our... recording! I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> we just got our Ooh, Guardians photo for it. We're going to just pop it on the screen in three, two, one. Camera noise. Horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible photo. It's horrible. My hair swept across my face. Everybody says it's like a bad old... photo, but yeah, I'll pop it on the screen. Oh, she's seeing funnel cake. Uh oh. So this is on the snack list. Funnel cake with ice cream. <laughs> it's going to be 13.50 plus tax. <laughs> just grab... How much was that funnel cake? Did I tell you? 1350. Plus tax, how much is the tax? I paid 1350, I think. Fair enough. So, yeah, we just got a funnel That's cake. Yummy. Mrs. B's eating it on a trash can as you do in Disney. Wow. Never had it before. Have a taste. Mm -hmm. So big. It's really yummy. Let's try this. Oh, you? Oh. It's really yummy. That is good. I'm going to give that a snack score of 8 out of 10. Because that is. Good for price, it's quite a good size as well, it's huge. Big slab of ice cream on top. Yeah. Describe it as like a crispy donut, like stringy crispy donut. Mm. With powdered sugar and ice cream on. Really nice. We're just on the way into the American Pavilion area. Oh, yeah. Inside yeah. the what is it? American Adventure. Never been on it. Probably not going to go on it. it. Looks a bit boring. These two are just looking at the pins. Finish off that funnel cake was so good. Like stringy donuts, really nice. On to the next one. See if uh, is it frozen around here somewhere after this bit. Moved on to Paris from America. <laughs> Gonna head into Germany. Oh, what's, oh for the bratwurst sausages. Bavaria. It's good with noodles. 
Uh, we've got, oh, it's a pork schnitzel from the Bavaria. There's a massive queue for it. All the holiday kitchens in Epcot, so everyone's queuing for low, all the holiday foods. <laughs> on to China or yeah, Shanghai and stuff like that, and then on to Norway. Frozen Ever After is closed as well, so I can't even have a look at that one. I'm gonna say, not a massive fan of Epcot. Guardian was epic though. That is awesome. I'm right behind you. There's Odin and Thor on this side. That's really cool. Down to Mexico. That is epic though. Inside the pyramid. Grand Fiesta Tour boat cruise. Three color, can't even say calabaros. Hello, I don't know. And then we're heading back towards the Christmas tree where we started. And then we're gonna go do more fun stuff. Let's go find out some food, food and some shopping. shopping. Like we like love to do in Florida. Shop, shop and more shopping. So we've just done the full loop around the World Showcase and you can actually meet Santa on the right hand side as you're coming out in the Odyssey area. I don't know where that is, but literally the last little bit of the cup. Let's go see if, how long the meet Santa is. There's times there for meeting Santa. 11 to 12. Oh, look at that. Oh, the sun's really bright behind me. Sorry, it's a bit glaring. This auto frame, there we go. So we're going to head out of Epcot, back to the car, go find some food, and then probably go do some shopping. Back in the car, on the way out of Epcot, and it is really warm, like, it has its hot days. It was cold yesterday, like, cooler, but now it's like 28 degrees, or 89, 89 Fahrenheit if you're American. So just be careful on the, in December, you still can be burnt and hot. But yeah, we're off to find somewhere to eat. Let's go. As always, change of plans again. We were gonna go for, I can't remember what I was gonna say. What were we gonna go for? What? Del Taco, I said earlier on in the clip, but we've we headed to International Drive and we're gonna grab some Moe's Southwest <laughs> Grill. Home wrecker for me, please. Mo meat, mo cheese burrito, some chips, and whatever the hell. And a quesadilla. Well, no, no. Because that's not a quesadilla. But yeah. Um, it looks really tasty though. I'm going to open that up and show you in a sec. This looks amazing. Oh, can you go get me another straw? That's my burrito. It is absolutely massive. It's got steak, cheese, sauce, beans, um, lettuce, pico de gallo, and a bit of guaca extra charge. But that was absolutely, it's so good as well. So much cheese in there. And that came to 33.50 with the large drink as well. So I just grabbed an extra pot of queso for 2.99, but they also gave us a mahusa bag of chips, which we are going to take home because there's a lot. Oh my god! All done in Mo's. God, you're gonna have to roll me off this. Uh, 
runway into the plane because I am so full. That always was are amazing. Mo's. Yeah, Mo's always that burrito is like the size of my hand. It's absolutely awesome. Definitely recommend trying Mo's if you haven't tried it before. It's a bit like Subway, but for Mexican, where you like go along and choose all your items, like I showed in the video a bit, a bit further on. You can like go and pick all your lettuce, salad, and like sauces and all that in the tab in your wrap or your bowl. But yeah, definitely worth the money. And Tanya's even got leftovers later. <laughs> She's <laughs> gonna manage Tanya's it. Tanya's not a fat ass like me and Owen. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we we've been stretching for years. <laughs> the See, stomachs are stretched. <laughs> so yep. Yeah, um, yes, he whereas I do big meals. You like a big meal? Yeah. I won't I snack in between. I will all day. All day. So, so we're gonna a couple head down. of hours she'll be grazing on that in a couple yeah. of hours. <laughs> that queso is to die for. Anyway, look, on to... Look, look, decorations. Oh, well, decorations are all pretty. I'll, put, I'll the turn the camera on in a sec. We're gonna head down to the outlets now and have a look around the shops and see what we can find bargain-wise in Vineland, is it? No. No? International. International. We're I get these two wrong. All the way to the farm of International. So yeah, stay tuned Historic for our international outlets. famous part of Orlando International Drive. DJ's, DJ's brew house on the right, you've yeah, got yeah, yeah. Disney store on the left, Checkers on the right world's here. biggest McDonald's on the left over there, and, and the Checkers here is the, the only Checkers. one that has a seating area, big seating area like that. Perkins on the corner there. Favourite Wawa. Carry on up. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Roses. Popeyes, Hulk Hogan's wrestling shop. Coming up here is where we stayed last year in the last series of vlogs. If you want to have a look at those, just check out the playlist of the Blue Raspberry. Rosen, we miss Rosen in 7600. We have to wave because I said I'd wave to them on social media. So we're waving. <laughs> Rosen has our heart. <laughs> yeah, we love Rosen. In. But I've got a video of the room tour <clears throat> and hotel on the playlist of. Uh, Blue Raspberry. I love it because there's Duncan next door. So yeah, we're heading down toward the bottom of International Drive now for the outlets. And then just pointing out some stuff. <laughs> you can see the tip of the Volcano Bay just across the... You can just see the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. That's all you need apparently, is just the tip. <laughs> there's the Welcome to Orlando He's City Beautiful. I do actually. Ah, oh, look at the decorations down here. They look... Epic. So good. <laughs> Have to do Mrs. B's favourite thing. Shop. Till you drop. So it looks like they're adding a Ford's garage under here. It's all boarded up. Signs come down. So yeah, Ford's garage coming in the future. I'm gonna go grab a coffee from Starbucks and then gonna have a walk around the outlets. I can't come to the outlets without getting a Starbucks and I've gone for a chestnut praline cold foam cold brew. Got it right and the cups are really festive. So let's give this a taste. Oh God, I love cold foam and cold brew. It's so good. That is really tasty. Definitely recommend snack score of I'm gonna say nine out of ten because that was awesome. We've just come into Champion in the uh, outlets and we've got Disney 30% off. That is so cool. We've got blue o hoodie drawings and some t-shirts over there as well. So 
some good deals. So, fifty percent off takes it down to seventeen fifty for a pair of Champion shorts. Really nice quality as well. Leggings seventeen ninety nine. I know I didn't have them on my size. I got a hoodie, jumping hoodie, a jumper, pair of trackies, running shorts, two lots of socks, and I got a free. I got that free. Oh, wow. It's one hundred and three dollars with tax. That's amazing. I will so, be coming back to have a... Uh, come to the outlets and check out the bar uh, bargains you can get. Champion, one of the best ones here. Yeah, it's my favourite. Hollywood Heroes and Villains has lots of lounge flies and stuff in. We're not going to go in this time. We did that last in the last series. And it's got loads of like geeky merchandise, bags, and pop fun uh, Funkos. Yeah, and then so many shops and stuff. It's quite hard to get across in video, but take you into some of the good ones. Mark Jacobs. Sorry, I got a mint in my mouth. Mark Jacobs. Discount bags and stuff. So tote bags and handbags and stuff. And there's guests over here as well. Armani. That's pretty. Thank you. It's only 104. Only. And 40% off maybe. We're just going to Kipling. 50% off style. Oh, that's got 50 maybe. Two bags for $60. Oh, you look at the price. So the good thing about this one is A2 tells you, let's do the math. So, how much so would that be? It's 94. It was 94. So what market is it? It's 40% off. 40 would be $53.40 for the bag. I'm not in budget unfortunately today. Maybe tomorrow's budget. I'm actually buying something for a change. Just coming to Lids and I found this Nike hat. Really like it. Florida Gators. It's going home with me. So I don't know if anybody's a fan of Victoria's Secret, but we've just come into the Victoria's Secret outlet. And they've got perfumes and loads of different smellies of fragrances and hand sanitizers and loads of body mists and all sorts. So, and I'll show you some prices quickly because there is very loud copyright music. So I'll just show you the prices for the uh, sprays and stuff like that because it's well worth it. This like whole section is five ninety nine, and the back corner here is two ninety nine. That was the perfume side. They uh, have also clothes. Perfumes, bras, underwear, all that good stuff. And it's real cheap, like $2.99 for a pair of pants. Like, can't go wrong. Just have to dig through what you want. So we've just been wandering around aimlessly for the last probably hour yeah. going into every shop and that so didn't really show much because it's not really much in, in the way of interesting watching people wander but there is one shop we're going to take you into the Disney character warehouse let's have a look inside and see if we can find some Disney bargains we've got the Incredibles lounge fry for $34.99 some cocoa ears are uh, 12 99 instead of 35 that's not a bad deal. Just uh, like Disney Just Disney ears. ears, same price. Oh, oh they're Easter. They... What? 
Is it not? Hang That's on. Judy Hop, isn't it? Sorry. I can't think of the name. Oh, Captain America Pride. Yeah. They're twelve ninety nine as well. Some really good bargains in here today. It's a matter of when you come, isn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look a bit more around. Oh wow, they've got some of the Halloween stuff. What's this one? I think it just says Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. How much is that? I haven't got a hand. Uh, twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. So that's Halloween party merch from Halloween. Just gone. <gasps> What's that? Welcome to Halloween. How much is that one? That's the Disney Vacation one. Fourteen. Sanderson sisters. We've got some Namor and Pandora spears for eight pound, eight dollars and twelve ninety nine. We've got Muppets or Rescue Rangers Lounge Fry for thirty four instead of seventy eight to eighty eight. They are so cool. Some of the Halloween merch as well for twelve ninety nine for the tea towels and the sign, light up That's sign. Up. How much is that one? Twenty. Yeah, 1999. So the Disney outlet's always a bit hit and miss. We didn't really see much we wanted in there. There wasn't any very good bargains we found. It depends on the day you go in as well. So we showed you a few things, but there wasn't much in there today. Well, why are you zooming on that person behind me? Yeah. This, this autofocus is so weird. It literally zooms in on anybody that's behind me or next to me. So you have a bigger face. Yeah, I've got. I should, should have a bigger face apparently. I think his face is big enough. But yeah, I'm just going to wander around a bit more, have a look at a few more shops. This shop is very rude. It's hilarious. They have a few lounge flies for 20% off. They've got the McDonald's, Ronald McDonald one looks awesome. Tanya's <laughs> very amused by this shop. Which, which one did you see? IP Impulse. <laughs> it's just a random like t-shirt with swear words on and just silly fun. And these are the, oh, these are my favorite, Stephen Rhodes. They're awesome. Don't recommend coming into this shop if you're easily offended by anything. But it's hilarious and we love it. Where we started, heading back to the car, loads of shopping, absolutely knackered, needing a drink. But this Ponsetta fountain looks awesome. I'll tell you one thing, your arms ache after carrying all that around the outlets for the day. Just gonna wait for the missus to back out so I couldn't get in the car. So as you tell from the time card it's about two, three hours later nearly. We just went back to the villa, grabbed the shower, put our stuff away, all the shopping that we bought the outlets and then we jumped back in the car and we've headed down to Old Town Kissimmee, just past Celebration and we're going to head into Old Town, have a look around, see the car show. Won't probably show it too much because we'll come back another night and do it again. <laughs> Friday and it's the muscle car show at the moment. I'll bit around and show you what they look like. But yeah, come down on a Friday night, it's the Old Town Muscle Car Show.
So we haven't eaten yet and we just stopped outside the checkers to look at the menu. We've got two orders of the Fry Lovers Double and we've got the Monsterella sticks. Let me show you what it looks like when we get it. I'm just going to talk a bit louder, there's copyright music if someone play, flaring it on a bike. We've got the Fry Lovers Double, stuffed with fries, double burger, cheese, tender seasoned fries and where's the Monsterella sticks over there? We've got oh on look at those, the chicken tender seasoned fries, that yeah, mozzarella, mm. absolutely awesome. And that was only $22, uh -oh. something like that. That burger is absolutely to die for, but also we asked for ketchup, he did not disappoint. So I just finished that checkers, the guy that I was dropping to uh, the got cherry coke. That We're gonna from end the video here, yeah, guys. We, um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And we shall see you in the next one for another adventure in Florida. Be happy.